my main account, uh, BabySham33. And I was um, doing some gameplay. Actually, I've been thinking about this for a while as, you know, all of us, we go through gameplay. And there are certain things that really upset us because it just makes things forever. And I don't know, I've, I'm thinking about calling it, um, you know, Castle Clash Rant. Because that's pretty much what it is. It's it's my rant, and you, a lot of you will probably um, share my opinion and 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 feel the same way. Um, you know, if you do, um, like and share the video. You know, leave your comments. Um, but like I said, I'll probably do this maybe once a week. Um, <laughs> something really pisses me off, and maybe I'll just kind of throw it in there the same day if something just kind of comes up and I'm like, ah. Um, so, my rant today is with regards to doing Storm Mesa. Now, my problem with this, and I'll, I'll talk as I set my team up, is that, honestly, if you're running Storm Mesa, and, and a big part of the game is knowing when to stay in your lane. If your hero's inscription aren't at a certain level, if your heroes aren't at a certain star level, or, you know, um, at a certain talent level, as in, you know, 5 of 9, 7 of 9, 8 of 9, um, that kind of thing, um, then you know what? know which Star Mesa that you should be doing. Um, everybody wants to have the great rewards. You know what? I have um, accounts where I have like uh, free-to-play accounts where I just don't have the strength or the talent level to go doing you know, I have some, you know, good players on there, but I, I shouldn't be doing Star Mesa 1. That's just a fact. I shouldn't be doing Star Mesa 1 because I'm a liability to everybody else that's doing Star Mesa 1. Um, I've got one, I've got a free-to-play account with a Pumpkin Duke, and I can do Star Mesa 1 with, as long as someone else is doing, running another Pumpkin Duke because I know that, you know, we can, we can win that. Um... Now, if you have, and this is this is why it upsets me. And let's see if there's any in here. So, I'm a hundred in the I'm a, I'm level hundred twenty one, K might. Um, my heroes are pretty bossed out. I spend a lot of time on it. Now, I understand that there's some of you there that have a pumpkin duke, or a Santa boom, and you know what? I think for Star Mesa four, the qualification to enter is like thirty thousand might. Fantastic! You have thirty thousand might. It doesn't mean you should be doing the Star Mesa four. Um, let's see. All right. So this actually isn't a bad team, but we're gonna exit. See if one's in here. Okay. Level one fifty seven. Now, more than likely, if you are level one fifty seven trying to run um, a Star Mesa 4, you are a liability to everybody else. Um, more than likely, your inscriptions aren't all the way up. If your highest hero is 157, your lowest one probably is somewhere around in the 140s. What happens is, you go into a Star Mesa 4, and 3 out of 4, or maybe 4 out of 5 of your, of your players die and then, basically, you have three players left to kind of hopefully beat the base in a time. You're wasting everybody's time. Stay in your lane. If that's, if, if that's your level, you should be doing, you know, Star Mesa 3, Star Mesa 2. The rewards are still great. They're not as great as Star Mesa 4, but you're not strong enough yet. So, therefore, if you don't have, you know, level 80 inscriptions on, 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 on your heroes... F. You know what? And, and I will say this. You know what? You may not have a pumpkin dude. That's fine. 
But you know what? Your heroes are nine stars, and their inscription level is eighty. Hey, you can jump in a star mesa four with a, with three other people that have punk and dukes, and you know what? You'll hold your own. You'll 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 be an asset. But if you want to jump in the star mesa four because you have a Sansa, and you have no punk and dukes, your heroes aren't level eighty on the inscription level. You're a liability. Stay out. Just don't do it. You're wasting everybody's time. You know, um, as I said, some of, okay. Star Mesa Four. Who would put? Who would jump into Star Mesa Four with a level six? Everybody saw that had a level sixty. Um, what the hell is the name of that damn thing? Um, that was a. Uh, sure, all these guys are pumpkin dupes. No, this is better. Um, a Marauder. You shouldn't have even... I'm hoping that was an accident. But people do that kind of stuff all the time. Um, I said, you have no business whatsoever being in a Star Mesa 4. You shouldn't have even navigated over to Star Mesa 4. Okay? Some of you are going to be mad at me. Like, oh, you know, that's not right. You know, we're... You know, we have, we have the proper might, but, you know, we didn't get the boss heroes or whatever. Or, you know... We're free to play, and so therefore it's kind of hard to get. I understand that. Like I said, I have I run free to play accounts too, but however, I stay in my lane because I know that there's places where I can get the best rewards, and I won't hurt everybody else that's playing. Don't come into um, a battle where you can't help, and the only thing you end up doing is hurting everybody that is running and then also nobody wins rewards okay like I said some of you are gonna be like ah oh, well you know some of us we just we're trying to come up to when we get those high rewards so we can level up yeah that's quite fine but that's why there's Star Mesa 1, Star Mesa 2, Star Mesa 3, Star Mesa 4 I didn't start doing Star Mesa 4 until um <laughs> let's see like I said everybody was level 80 inscription um, I think my Pumpkin Duke was already a, like a 8, um, a 9, and even then, like I said, I was doing probably Star Mesa 2 for the longest time until they upgraded the, um, the rewards on Star Mesa 4, you know, and even then, I, for a little bit, I was doing Star Mesa 3, and I jumped into a Star Mesa 4, um, it was because, you know, I knew I could, I, I could do it, Okay. Stay doing what is best for you to do. Um, you know, we've gone through this one. Everybody, um, as you saw, was a nine-star hero. And, you know what, we're down to 50 seconds. And, I mean, we're going to beat this. Um, but you know what? Like I said, when you're jumping in there and your level, you know, your, your highest hero is a seven-star hero. You know, there's no way, like I said, your inscriptions probably aren't all the way up. Um, and you're just a liability. So do everybody a favor. Um, stay in your lane. Play what is best for you, where you want to get the best rewards. Um, and at the same time, where you're not hurting other players. By doing that, you want you improve your success rate. Um... You know what? Nobody is having to kind of drag you along to keep you safe. Um, and you're going to always get rewards because you're playing in in a zone where it's best for you to play. Where you're not going to have a problem losing. You know what? Fine. It's perfect for you because, hey, um, on Storm Mesa 4, if, it's, if they pull it out and you win, you're going to get great rewards. And you know what? It was, it's whatever for you. But for the guys that are in there and then you drag them down and they lose, that sucks. What you can guarantee your rewards though by playing in a in in a some in a, in a, in a in a section that is best fitted for your talent level and your heroes. So that's my rant. As I said, some of you are gonna be like, Yeah, you know, yo, you you're right on you, f you feel my message, and some of you are going to be like, uh, you know what? And for those of you that don't like this message, you're the ones that 
probably come into this, into, into into battles that you're not you shouldn't be in. So if you're gonna be mad, be mad. But it's it's what it is. Um, hey, appreciate you listening to my rant. Um, once again, hey, um, just a quick shout out my my own little guild here, um, Legion of Doom, trying to build it up. Um, been going one man for a while. Want to finally build up a guild. You know, um, I don't have any might requirements. I just want other guys that I can actually tutor and help build up. If I can get some great, some high might guys in here to help me along, be um, a good um, vice leader. Um, the other vice leader on here is my free to play account, of course. Um, but be a vice leader and kind of help me build it up and stuff like that, so that we can start getting into some torch battles and do do different things. Uh, if you have line chat, add me, um, baby sham thirty three. Um, once again, thanks for listening to my rant. It is what it is. As I said, um, you know, um, look my look my guild up, please. I would love, I love guys to um, to join. Like I said, hey, the best one of the best things I, to teach you about this about this about this game is do what you're capable to do. That way, you'll be guaranteed rewards. You won't drag anybody else down, and you don't have any problems going along. And before you know it, you will level up properly. And you'll be able to do the gameplay that, you know, with the high rewards and the things that you want to do. But stay in your damn lane. Peace out.